Elder Gary E. Stevenson was born to Evan N. and Vera Jean Hall Stevenson on August 6, 1955, and grew up in Cache Valley, Utah. Gary's father was a bishop when Gary was young. His father often invited Gary to come along when he visited the many widows who lived in their ward. That taught Gary how to give Christ-like service and care for those in need. As Gary grew up, he learned to serve others too. When Gary was about 11 years old, his father took him hiking. Gary started climbing up a large boulder when his father grabbed him. What's wrong? Gary asked. Don't climb on that rock, his father said. Just stay on the trail. A moment later, as they both looked down from higher up on the trail, they could see a rattlesnake on top of the rock, lying in the sun. I had a feeling it would be dangerous, his father said. Later, as they drove home, Gary asked his father how he knew the snake was there. Let me teach you about the Holy Ghost, his father said. His father told him about how the Holy Ghost helps us. He can protect, comfort, and testify to us. The Holy Ghost had warned his father to pull Gary away so he wouldn't get hurt. This experience helped Gary understand that when we feel the Holy Ghost telling us something, we should listen and act on it. It was another important lesson Gary learned from his father. Elder Stevenson knows that we can also be protected by the Holy Ghost if we listen closely and follow his promptings. As a young man, Elder Stevenson was called to serve a mission in Japan. It was hard for him to learn Japanese, but as he studied and practiced, he felt the Holy Ghost helping him, and he learned to trust Heavenly Father. When Elder Stevenson returned from his mission, he went to Utah State University. In an Old Testament class, he met Lisa Jean Higley from Idaho. He liked her the minute he saw her. They were married in April 1979 in the Idaho Falls Temple and had four sons. Elder Stevenson graduated in business. He later co-founded an exercise equipment company. The Stevenson home was always filled with friends and activities. The family loved skiing, snowboarding, hiking, and being outdoors. Because of his experience serving with his father and as a missionary in Japan, Elder Stevenson had great training for the many church callings he would serve. He was a bishop, a member of the state presidency, and the president of the Japan Nagoya Mission. Just as his father taught him, Elder Stevenson also taught his sons to serve others as they traveled with him on business and church assignments all over the world. Elder Stevenson also served as a member of the Seventy and spent more than nine years living in Asia. He loved the people and cultures there. When a giant earthquake and tsunami hit Japan in 2011, Elder Stevenson organized humanitarian help from the church and followed Jesus' example of helping others. A year later, Elder Stevenson was called to serve as presiding bishop of the church. This meant he was responsible for the church's humanitarian efforts all over the world. The presiding bishopric has many responsibilities, like building temples and helping decide how tithing, fast offerings, welfare programs, and humanitarian efforts are used to serve others. In October 2015, Elder Stevenson was called to serve in the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles. One of Elder Stevenson's favorite scriptures that has helped him in his life is in the Doctrine and Covenants. I will go before your face. I will be on your right hand and on your left. And my spirit shall be in your hearts and mine angels round about you to bear you up. Elder Stevenson has shown in his own life that Heavenly Father and His Son, Jesus Christ, will help and protect us when we obey and trust them.